Oh my gosh, Martha? Is that you? Hi. Oh, hey. Oh, I haven't seen you since you moved out of the neighborhood. Yeah, we, we fell on some hard times, but you know, we managed. Uh, anyway, how's your son? Oh, I am so proud of him. He's perfect. He graduated Stanford with honors. He is so successful. But where did your son go to college? Oh, well, my son didn't go to college. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, after college, my son started his own business. He is doing so well. Uh, does your son have his own business? Oh, oh, no, my son doesn't have his own business. He, he, he works for a company. That's too bad. Well, <laughs> my son will be here any minute to pick me up and take me to his house in the hills. Where does your son live? Hey, Ma. Hey. Mm. Let me help you with your bags. Aww. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Look, baby, you go on ahead and I'll meet you at the car, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to say goodbye to a friend. Take your time, Ma. I'll be right there. You know what? My son didn't go to college because I had gotten sick, and he decided to stay back and take care of me. I begged him to go to school, but he refused to leave my side. And my son didn't start his own business because he works for a nonprofit company. To him, it's not about how much money he makes, but instead about the difference that he can make in other people's lives. And my son, no. He doesn't have a house in the hills. He actually lives with me. After my husband passed, he didn't want to leave me all by myself. So he stayed around to take care of me. My son may not have a college degree, or have started his own business, or even own a fancy house in the hills. But I am proud of the person that he's become. Mom, what is taking so long? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I, I just... Look, I don't care if you're sorry. You're wasting my time. Let's go. At least my son knows how to help his mother. It was nice catching up with you. All of us know somebody who loves to compare their life to others to make it seem as if their life is somehow better. They treat life as if it's some sort of scorecard and whoever gets the highest score wins. Since they went to a better school, that somehow makes them smarter. Since they have more money, that somehow makes them better. Or since they have a fancy house, that somehow makes them happier. But what's important to remember is, having a great life is not based on what you have, it's based on what you give. That person who didn't go to the best school may have learned more from life experience. That person who doesn't make a lot of money may be helping a lot more people. And that person who doesn't have a fancy house may still have a happier home. So remember, being successful won't always make you happy, but being happy will always make you successful.